even more unique. No? So uh, I can't thank enough everybody here in Australia. The support has been huge and I, I really enjoy it a lot. Rafael Nadal is a Spanish professional tennis player. Regarded as one of the best tennis players of all time, he's won countless tournaments over the years. Known as the King of Clay, Nadal holds a record of 82 consecutive wins on a single surface. He's won at least one Grand Slam every year for 10 years straight, another record. In January 2022, Nadal won his 21st Grand Slam title when he was victorious at the Australian Open. Over the course of his career, Nadal has won many awards, including the Sportsmanship Award and five ATP Player of the Year awards. He was also named ITF World Champion four times and won the Laureus World Sportsman of the Year once. Something completely unexpected and a big surprise for me, you know, and yeah, I enjoy it. I feel very lucky and I can't thank enough everybody. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Rafael Nadal Pereira, but is also known as El Nino Rafa Rafi, King of Clay. He was born June 3, 1986 in Manacor, Mallorca, Spain, making him age 36 at the time of this production. He stands 1.65 meters or 6 feet tall. His favorite food is seafood and the specialty of Spain, olives, and he loves shrimp dumplings. His favorite fashion brand is Tommy Hilfiger. Nadal's favorite movies are The Godfather, Titanic, and The Gladiator. His favorite TV shows are Narcos, Game of Thrones, and I Know Who You Are. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne and Isabel Allende's The City of the Beasts are his favorite books. He considers clay his favorite surface. As a young boy, he would run home from school to watch Goku in his favorite Japanese anime, Dragon Ball. Nadal supports or has supported many charities such as City Harvest, Elton John AIDS Foundation, Laureus Sport for Good Foundation, and Small Steps Project. Rafael Nadal opened his tennis academy center to Mohorka flood victims in November 2018. By that time, he was recovering at home in Mohorka shortly after having to leave the U.S. Open due to injury. And one day after the flood, he worked personally with some friends to help the victims. In April 2017, the center court of the Barcelona Open was named Pista Rafa Nadal. In 2021, prior to the start of the tournament, the French Open paid tribute to Nadal with the installation of a three-meter tall steel statue at Stade Roland Garros. Nadal is known for a host of on-court rituals, including specific bodily movements and the positioning of items courtside. Nadal himself has rejected that such rituals stem from an obsessive compulsive disorder complex or are based on superstition. Nadal has been in a relationship with Maria Francisca Perello Pasqual, often mistakenly referred to as Sisca in the press, since 2005, and their engagement was reported in January 2019. The couple married in October 2019. And I felt sorry for, for him losing much like this and having the crowd uh, supporting uh, crazy uh, was on my side yesterday. His father was a businessman who owned several companies and his uncle was a former professional footballer. A different uncle saw Nadal's athletic potential when the boy was just three years old and encouraged him to start learning how to play tennis. By the time he was eight, Rafael Nadal was winning under 12 tennis championships while also showing potential as a footballer. Eventually, Nadal's father made him choose one sport or the other to create more time for schoolwork. Although the Spanish Tennis Federation wanted Nadal to relocate to Barcelona to train with funding from the government, his family refused to let him leave home. His father covered the cost of his training instead, and he continued to develop in Mallorca. In 2001, when Nadal was just 15 years old, he defeated retired professional Pat Clash in an exhibition match. Nadal began his professional career at age 15. Early victories soon came, and Nadal became the ninth player in history to win an ATP match before the age of 16. Next year, he reached the semifinals of the boys' single tournament at Wimbledon. He also participated in Spain's win against the United States in the Junior Davis Cup. In 2003, Nadal was ranked number 79 in the world and continued to build on his earlier success. Next year, he won his first ATP title for singles when he won the Procon Open. 
He also played Federer for the first time, emerging victorious, and registered his first win in a singles event during the Davis Cup. During the next few years, Nadal continued his rivalry with Federer and won more Grand Slam titles. In 2005, Nadal won 79 matches, while Federer won 81. Federer and Nadal traded victories and losses once again in 2007, although rumors of injuries would plague Nadal leading into 2008. In 2018, Djokovic replaced Nadal as number one in the world despite a solid season from the Spanish player. In 2019, he won the French Open yet again, giving him 12 total wins at the event. In January, Nadal won his 89th ATP singles title at Melbourne Somerset 1. After a six-week layoff following Wimbledon, Nadal lost in the opening round at the Cincinnati Masters to Borna Court. Despite his setback, Nadal was the first to qualify for the 2022 NITO ATP Finals. People are gonna, gonna understand how, how good he is and uh, gonna understand a little bit better his personality and I am sure that he's gonna have the crowd supporting him soon. In January 2022, Nadal won his 21st Grand Slam title. This win pushed his career on-court earnings above $127 million, roughly $3 million behind Roger Federer and $27 million behind the number one highest earning men's tennis player of all time, Novak Djokovic. In a given year, Rafael earns $40 million from tournament winnings, appearance fees, and endorsements. In June 2020, thanks to his win at the French Open, Rafael Nadal's career earnings, endorsements plus winnings, officially crossed $500 million. Rafael has a close relationship with Kia Motors, which has sponsored him since 2006. He's also sponsored by Nike, and this company designed clothing specifically for Nadal over the years. In addition, he has endorsements with Lanvin Colognes, Culey, a Mallorca-based food company, Emporio Armani, and Poker Stars. He has a net worth of $220 million. Rafael Nadal's houses include a mansion in his hometown of Mallorca and a second house in the Dominican Republic, which he acquired back in 2009. Rafael Nadal bought his magnificent property at Mallorca for $4 million in 2003. The player's house is spread over a thousand square meters of land in Porto Cristo. Other buildings incorporated on this property cover an area of 7,000 square meters. A captivating part of these buildings is that they have a seafront view. The front line has been kept very minimal. Made with a Mallorcan-style stone chalet exudes elegance and modernism. Next in line is the Spaniard Legends residence worth $2 million in Playa Nueva Romana, Dominican Republic. The villa has a beautiful view for the player to witness. The swimming pool right in front enhances the entire look of the house. Along with the white-colored lounge chairs on the side of the pool and the sun right above your head, this is the favorite spot for the player to unwind. The exterior portion also includes a big passage adorned with trees and planters on each side. He owns the following cars, a Mercedes-AMG GTS, a Mercedes-AMG G63, a Range Rover SVR, a Kia Stinger GT, An Aston Martin DBS.
a Ferrari 458 Italia.